Okay, so why, why are we still talking about filters? I want to show you guys another really cool filter over here. Again, we'll just call these quick filter tips. So I've gone and created a new project. We're going to use the default terrain. I'm going to go to add layer. We'll just call this test. Go to add. And I'm, I'm going to be starting off by using a sediment complex. So it's going to, buy, it's going to apply some sediment to our terrain over here. It almost looks like these areas look quite soft, almost like wet soil or wet sand. And then there's another awesome filter over here. If I go to add, it's under design and it's called shape. Right, so I basically use this shape filter to create paths or to allocate certain areas of the terrain where there's maybe going to be craters or a particular path like where the ocean's going to flow in, where water is going to flow in. So it's really useful for that particular type of thing. So I'm going to go to add shape. Now you can see by default that it adds in a shape over here. But just to see this a little bit better, I'm going to go to edit shape so we can see exactly what our, our shape looks like. So we've got a square over here. And now I'm going to apply some smoothness. You can see by default the overall transition of the shape, uh, the, the transition between the shape and this part of the terrain is quite harsh. So if I apply some smoothness over here, it basically softens it out a little bit. And to get rid of this artifact, in, you just want to bring down the strength. So it's quite self-explanatory. You can see wherever the shape is being applied is where it's basically digging into our terrain. And by either increasing or decreasing our height offset, we can dig either further into, into our terrain or add onto our terrain over here as well. Right, and another cool thing you can see, maybe if I'm digging into my terrain and I want to uh, basically dig out or flip this particular effect, it's really simple to do here by operation. You can see it's on addition. And in this case, the addition is digging in. But if I click on here, I can click on subtraction and it's basically going to invert that effect. So if that's something you're going for, you know how to do that. I'm going to go back to addition. Okay, so we basically creating a path. So you can see we've got all of these uh, circles on here. I'll refer to them as pins. If we uh, hold on the left mouse button, we can click and drag these pins and basically allocate a path. So you can see I'm digging out of the terrain over here. I can drag these up or down. You can see if I drag it down in this instance, it's basically adding onto the terrain and dragging it up is subtracting it okay and if I left click on here I can add I can continue adding pins onto our shape All right so it's really that simple to do and I can just continue adjusting the overall shape over here of our path so let's say in this region over here, this is where the ocean is going to flow in. And once I'm happy with it, I just click on done edit shape. And you can see we still got that sediment effect being applied over here, which is pretty cool. Almost looks like whatever water is going to be flowing into the scene has actually affected that part of the terrain. And now you can keep layering these shapes, uh, shape filters on top of each other. So if I wanted to go back, I can go back to design, add in another shape filter, go to add shape, edit shape. Let's bring down the strength, add a little bit of smoothness. And now, if I wanted to, right, maybe this is a little island here. Right, I can add some more pins. So there's a little island in this area. Let's see, add another pin here. And then I'll click on Done Edit Shape. So that's how you can even add a little island into this area using that shape feature or dig out a certain area to create a path. And now if we actually wanted to, we could simulate water in this region. If you're using another 3D program, you would just create a plane over here and apply like a water texture with some bump, bump map applied to it to create what looks like water. But if you go to scene, and yeah, you'll see there's something called ocean. If I select this, it's actually gonna add an animated ocean into our scene and I can adjust the overall ocean height. All right, and then now the way that we've basically created this, remember we dug out this region so that the ocean is now flowing into this area over here. So that's how you could uh, create like a visual representation of where the water would be flowing into this part of your terrain. So really, really cool feature uh, that they've included here as well. So that's basically how you use shapes to dig out areas and create these paths really simple and really really easy uh, within your scenes 
if I wanted to I go I can go back to filters and maybe add another sediment complex and that will make this terrain look even softer right now so you can see you can stack those filters on top of each other and it's completely dependent on what you're going for of course you want to play around with these sliders and see what type of effects uh, you can end up getting but yeah the main focus of this was the shape just to show you how to create these paths and how to even use a shape to add on an island region over here so just have fun with that play around with these filters and see what you can actually come up with okay so I showed you guys how to create paths using the shape filter but there actually is a dedicated path filter as well so I'm gonna go to filters add layer add filter the nearby design you can see path it gives you a little description telling you what it does I'm gonna click on OK and then click on add path and then edit path so it gives you some button inputs over here showing you how to add the actual path how to insert one of those pins after to continue adding onto your path and how to remove the pins as well so just hold down the left shift button and then just uh, use the left mouse button to click and you'll see there we go we automatically start creating our path now I can choose wherever I want this path to go so I'm actually going to stop right over there and then you can obviously click and drag and move these paths around you can choose whether you want to elevate or dig into the mesh or you can adjust the overall width of that path as well and then there's some sliders over here we can adjust the overall height to dig into our mesh or elevate it uh, we can adjust the overall strength of our path uh, we can increase the width as well apply some smoothness on here and uh, this feature over here called closed in this case with this path let's say this is where my path okay I started here and that's where my path ends but if I want to actually close off this entire path just go ahead and select that and now you have a completed uh, path within your terrain so it's really simple to do and then this level step is actually going to determine the overall quality of this path as well you can see determining on what you going for if you want this path to be really crisp and clear like this you'll just use the level step or if you want some of the actual terrain to seep into that path and look a little bit more believable that's how you'll control that and then you'll just click on done edit path and there we go we've created a path within our terrain really simple and really easy to do okay